Braden Bridge was a popular blogger who people recognized on the street. Due to his attractiveness, Braden was very popular among girls. One day Braden entered college, and many girls immediately began to recognize him. Braden had undoubtedly seen the way girls were looking at him, and he decided that this was the perfect opportunity to start dating one of these girls. Then Braden pulled out a small box that girls who wanted to date Braden would drop their phone numbers into to meet Braden and get to know him better. The girl's reaction was not long in coming, and literally a second later one of the girls wanted to give Braden her phone number. A minute later, a whole crowd of girls who wanted to date Braden began to approach Braden. However, many girls couldn't wait for Braden to pay attention to them and then they immediately began asking Brayden to go out with them. At that moment, Brayden began to feel like the most handsome and attractive guy in the entire college. However, in reality, Brayden was only imagining how crowds of girls wanted to date him, while no girls were eager to date him. Then Brayden just stood in the middle of the street with his box and hoped that at least one girl would come up to him and recognize him. As a result, Brayden stood on the street with his box almost the entire day, but no one recognized him after which the upset Brayden went home. On the way home, Brayden figured that because it was his first day of college, no one had time to realize who he was, and he decided that tomorrow he would try to meet some girls again. While Brayden was looking for the keys to his apartment, he saw a girl with dyed hair, who at that moment was playing some kind of game. While the girl was angry at her team for losing the game, Brayden took a closer look at her and thought that this girl would live in the next room. The girl looked at Brayden when he told her that she didn't have to show her aggression in a public place. At the same moment, Brayden turned away from the girl and thought that she was very cute, and that he should definitely try to get to know her. After that, Brayden went into his apartment, took out cheese chips, lay down on the couch, and started watching TV. At that moment, a program was shown on TV about how guys after 20 years of age who lead a passive lifestyle and constantly play computer games have problems with excess weight. They also said on TV that cheese chips can also be bad for the body. And at that moment Brayden remembered that he was just about to start going to the gym. Then Brayden thought that if he started going to the gym and pumped up big muscles, then girls would immediately want to start dating him. Brayden also figured that if he pumped up big enough muscles, he could definitely try to meet 20 girls, and Brayden immediately got ready to go to the gym. After leaving the house, Brayden thought that it would be boring for him to go to the gym regularly. But despite this, he was ready to endure it, since the nearest gym was absolutely free. At the same moment, Brayden noticed that the same girl he saw today was also heading somewhere. Brayden looked at this girl and felt like he had an opportunity to get to know her. Then Brayden decided to try to meet the girl and he said that they were neighbors. However, the girl told Brayden that she had not paid any attention to it before, and Brayden was very surprised that she did not recognize a guy like him. At that moment, the girl told Brayden that her name was Alex, and then Brayden told her his name and told her that he was now going to go to the gym to tone up his muscles a little. Then Alex said that she was also going to the gym, and Brayden was somewhat surprised that such an inconspicuous girl like Alex also went to the gym. At that moment, Brayden thought that in the gym he would have a great opportunity to show off his muscles to Alex, after which she would definitely want to date him. Soon Brayden and Alex arrived at the gym, and Alex said that almost no one goes to the gym, and this time Brayden will join her for a little company. While Alex was doing a little warm-up, Brayden decided to take one of the dumbbells and start lifting it to show Alex his muscles. However, Alex paid almost no attention to Brayden, but Brayden did not stop lifting the dumbbell, which was difficult for him to hold in his hands. Each time, Brayden found it more and more difficult to lift the dumbbell, and Alex just watched as Brayden tried not to accidentally drop the dumbbell on the floor. Brayden soon finished lifting the dumbbell, and then he began to flex his arm, trying to show Alex his muscles. Alex soon finished her warm-up and went to choose a dumbbell for her workout while Brayden tried to catch his breath after lifting such a heavy dumbbell. However, despite his fatigue, Brayden believed that the effort was worth it to try to attract Alex's attention, thinking that he looked even more attractive during training. After a couple of seconds, Brayden saw how easily Alex held the dumbbell in his hands, which was several times heavier than the one he had previously lifted. Brayden was shocked that such a small girl could hold such a heavy dumbbell in her hands. Brayden soon noticed that Alex had another dumbbell in her other hand and he figured she was just doing a different exercise, which calmed him down somewhat. However, Alex soon began doing the same exercise that Brayden had previously done, 
holding two dumbbells at once. Brayden looked at Alex and didn't understand how such a girl could so easily lift dumbbells that were several times heavier than those he had lifted before. When Alex finished the exercise, Brayden felt extremely embarrassed that Alex was able to do this exercise without any problems while he almost fell while doing this exercise. After this exercise, Alex took off her sweater, and through her t-shirt you could easily see her toned abdominal and arm muscles. At that moment, Brayden realized that Alex was not some gamer or nerd, but a real athlete. Brayden was shocked that he didn't immediately recognize Alex as such a great athlete. Brayden stood with this face for about five minutes, and soon Alex pulled him out of his thoughts. After Brayden came to, Alex asked Brayden to help her while she did the bench press. First, Brayden looked at how heavy the barbell Alex was going to lift, and he figured that if he belayed her, he was unlikely to be able to lift the barbell. Brayden also believed that if he refused to ensure Alex, then she would consider him a weakling, and then he would not have a conversation with him. Brayden felt he had no other choice and told Alex that he would cover her. On the other hand, Brayden understood that he would definitely not be able to lift this barbell if Alex had any problems. Before performing the bench press, Alex asked Brayden if he could even lift the barbell if she failed. While Alex was fixing her hair, Brayden didn't stop looking at her, and he thought that he should under no circumstances screw up in front of her. At this point, Brayden was at a loss and he told Alex that if necessary, he could lift the barbell, which made Alex very happy. After Alex straightened her hair, she and Brayden headed towards the barbell. At this point, Brayden thought that he would not actually be able to lift such a barbell, since his arms still hurt after lifting the dumbbell. Brayden also believed that if he could not properly secure Alex, she might accidentally drop such a heavy barbell on herself and die. Then Brayden thought that he needed to do something urgently even if it meant making an idiot of himself in front of Alex. Then Brayden saw one of the simulators in front of him and decided that he had a chance not to belay Alex. At the same moment, Brayden pretended to trip over the exercise machine and injure his leg. At that moment, Alex didn't understand what exactly happened to Brayden, and she wanted to make sure that he was okay. Brayden then said that he had badly injured his leg, which meant he would not be able to belay Alex. At this moment, Alex could not understand Brayden, while Brayden himself began to feign even more pain from the blow. Then Alex told Brayden that in that case she would go and do other exercises, which made Brayden very happy. At this point, Brayden is glad that he won't have to ensure Alex, despite the fact that he made a complete idiot of himself in this situation. Brayden decided to look up on the internet how to properly secure a person on the bench press while Alex performed other exercises. When Brayden learned how to belay a person on the bench press, he decided to take a closer look at how Alex does it. Brayden couldn't stop looking at Alex, and at one point he decided that Alex was some kind of fitness model. Brayden soon told Alex that his leg was already healed and that he could now secure it. Then Alex told Ben that because almost no one went to the gym, she had never been able to try the bench press before. Brayden was surprised that Alex had never bench pressed, despite her outstanding physique. Alex then told Brayden that she had always been afraid that if she bench pressed, she might accidentally get crushed by the barbell. As Alex loaded the barbell with plates, Brayden didn't understand why she was adding so much weight to the barbell. While Alex was doing the bench press, Brayden still couldn't understand how Alex was able to lift so much weight. Soon, Alex successfully completed 10 bench presses, and Brayden didn't even have to put any effort into the belay. As Alex completed the bench press, she also suggested that Brayden try the bench press. At this point, Brayden felt he had the opportunity to show Alex what he was capable of. Brayden then told Alex that he had bench pressed that much weight before and that that weight was just a warm-up weight for him and that he didn't need a safety net. Alex wasn't entirely sure that Brayden would actually be able to lift that much weight, but Brayden still refused to use the belay. However, the barbell was too heavy for Brayden, causing him to be unable to lift it. In a panic, Brayden began to swing his legs in the hope that he would still be able to lift this barbell. At first, Alex just watched Brayden hopelessly shake his legs, thinking that he himself said that this weight was a warm-up for him. However, by that time, Brayden was still unable to lift the barbell, which caused him to begin to choke. At that moment, Alex realized that she had to help Brayden, otherwise he might simply die under this barbell. Soon Alex managed to lift the barbell and save Brainder. At this moment, Brayden was thinking that despite the fact that he managed to survive thanks to Alex, he still could not lift the barbell. At that moment, Brayden looked at Alex and believed that now she would be angry with him for making her worry about him. However, 
Instead of showing any negative emotions towards Brayden, Alex just chuckled slightly. Brayden did not expect such a reaction from Alex, and he immediately ran out of the gym. At the same moment, Alex stood perplexed by the situation, thinking about what an idiot Brayden was. The next morning, Alex and his friend Danielle Sylvain headed to college for classes. Danielle complained to Alex that studying at college takes up a lot of her time, and sometimes this time is not even enough for sleep and other necessary things. When Danielle wanted to ask Alex how she was doing with her daily routine, she realized from her tired appearance and tousled hair that she also had little free time. Then Alex said that without an alarm clock she couldn't wake up until noon, and Danielle decided that Alex was experiencing night wakefulness. However, Alex told her friend that she had a lot to do, including grocery shopping, homework, and working out at the gym. Danielle said that Alex actually spends most of his time playing computer games, which confused Alex somewhat. Alex then told Danielle with complete confidence that she would do her best to get a perfect score in all subjects. Then Danielle asked Alex if she had ever received a perfect score in any subject in her life, which only confused Alex once again. Then Danielle told Alex that in this case she needs to pay attention in class, since many people say that the first year of college is the most difficult. At that moment, Alex wanted to tell Danielle about the incident with the guy she went to the gym with yesterday. However, before Alex could say a word, Danielle immediately began screaming and pointing in the direction of one of the guys. At that moment, Danielle saw Brayden, who is one of the most popular bloggers. Alex was shocked, because she did not think that Brayden would study with her in the same group, and she certainly did not expect that Brayden would be some kind of celebrity. At that moment, Danielle could not believe that one of the most popular and young bloggers would study with them in the same group. At the same time, Alex had some idea about Brayden based on their training together, but she decided not to tell her friend about what happened at their training just yet. Meanwhile, Danielle continued to be amazed that she would be attending lectures with Brayden. Soon the bell rang, and Alex and Danielle hurried to the office they needed. Alex tried to get to the right office as quickly as possible, hoping that Brayden would not recognize her. However, Brayden still recognized Alex and then he greeted her with his ambiguous smile. This reaction greatly frightened Alex, and she immediately began to greatly regret that she could not contain her laughter during their last training session together. Soon Alex and Danielle found themselves at a lecture where the teacher told them about their studies at this college. While the rest of the students listened attentively to the teacher, Alex and Danielle discussed their plans for the evening. Then Danielle told Alex about how she found a recipe for salted milk on the internet which seemed to Alex to be something unnatural. Alex thought this idea was simply disgusting, while Danielle believed that if salt could be used to decorate any dish, then it could also improve the taste of milk. Soon the teacher told the students that throughout the semester they would be preparing a major project, the result of which would greatly affect their final grade. The teacher also said that students would prepare this project in groups of two, which made Alex and Danielle very happy. However, the teacher said that he would independently choose who would do this project with whom, which greatly upset Alex and Danielle. While the teacher was deciding who would do the project assignment with whom, Alex became upset that she wouldn't be able to do it with the only person she knew in the entire group. Soon the teacher said that Alex would be doing project work with Danielle, which made them both very happy. Alex and Danielle believed that with this composition they could easily complete the project work, and get the highest score. However, after a couple of seconds, the teacher said that he had made a small mistake, and that in fact Alex would not be working on the project with Danielle, but with Brayden. This news upset Alex so much that for the first few seconds she simply stopped paying attention to anything else except this unpleasant news. At first, Brayden was excited that he would be working on a project with a girl, but he was also upset that he would be working with the same girl who made fun of him at the gym. At the same moment, Danielle believed from the reactions of Alex and Brayden that they both knew each other. Meanwhile, the teacher told all the students that they would be working with their partners for the rest of the school year. Upset, Alex was very worried about the fact that she would actually have to work with Brayden all this year. Alex was also worried that working together with Brayden she would never be able to get the highest score. At the time, Danielle didn't understand why Alex and Brayden were looking at each other that way and she assumed they knew each other. Alex told his friend that they lived next door, and that they went to the same gym together. Danielle immediately started yelling at Alex for not telling her sooner, to which Alex said that she had no idea that Brayden was some kind of celebrity. At that same moment, Danielle began to imagine what Brayden looked like during a workout at the gym, 
and Alex told her that her fantasies were very different from reality. Then Alex told her friend that if she wanted, she could switch partners with her, just so as not to work with Brayden. However, Danielle insisted that Alex should still work with Brayden, and that she should under no circumstances try to get rid of him in any way. After this, the teacher asked all the students to sit with their partners and get to know each other a little. Alex was fully aware that she simply had no other choice, and then she took all her things and moved to Brayden's desk. For the first couple of minutes, there was an awkward silence between Alex and Brayden, and they didn't know how to start a dialogue. Brayden soon decided to talk to Alex first, and he told her that he could very well lift that barbell that almost crushed him, and Alex didn't believe Brayden's words. Brayden also told Alex that at that moment he had a severe stomach ache, to which Alex told him that she did not care how heavy a barbell he could lift. Alex wanted to turn the conversation to the topic of their joint assignment, but Brayden began to accuse Alex of laughing at him. Brayden then reminded Alex of the cardinal rule of the gym which was that you should never laugh at someone who is working hard to get stronger. Alex told Brayden that she completely agreed with this rule, but she also told Brayden that he wasn't even training that time. Alex also told Brayden that he was just trying to show off in front of her, and then she did not hesitate to call Brayden a poser. In response to this, Brayden said that he simply miscalculated the weight of the barbell, to which Alex said that Brayden would never be able to lift such a heavy barbell. Alex then showed Brayden her arm and told him that because of the incident yesterday, she had severely sprained her arm. Brayden only told Alex that she fully deserved it, because if she hadn't started showing off her muscles, then he wouldn't even think about trying to lift this barbell. Brayden also said that Alex deliberately took off her sweater to show off her muscles, to which Alex said that she simply showed her superiority. Meanwhile, the teacher invited the students to play a small game, during which everyone would have to tell a little about their partner. After that, the teacher looked at Alex and Brayden and invited them to be the first to tell a little about their partner. Alex believed that this teacher was deliberately doing everything to complicate her life, and Alex didn't even know that she could tell everyone about Brayden. Then Brayden suggested that Alex just talk about his channel, which had over 3 million subscribers and he thought that he couldn't tell anything about a girl who just goes to the gym. At that moment, Alex became somewhat offended by what Brayden thought about her, and then she decided to tell her group about Brayden everything she knew about him. Then Alex said that Brayden is the kind of person who goes to the gym just to show off in front of the girls by showing off his thin arms while working out. All the students started laughing at Brayden, since no one expected her to actually say something like that about him. After that, Alex sat down in her seat with a smile on her face and relief in her soul, leaving Brayden perplexed. Alex then told Brayden that she is very vindictive and can take revenge on a person without any pity, even if that person offends her just a little, which is why she was nicknamed the Queen of Revenge at school. At that moment, Brayden stood up from his seat and told Alex that he, too, was a very vindictive person and that he could take the title of Emperor of Vengeance. At that moment, Alex realized that it was Brayden's turn to say something about her, and that Brayden would probably try to make her laugh. After a couple of seconds, Brayden prepared to tell everything about Alex that he had learned about her during their acquaintance. Alex was afraid that Brayden would say something demeaning and false about her, and she wanted Brayden to shut up and sit down in his seat. At this point, Alex began to get very worried that Brayden would start telling everyone about her and she felt that she should have let Brayden tell the whole group about her first. Alex was becoming more and more scared by the second, and she believed that she could not survive the public humiliation, and she hoped that no one would listen closely to Brayden. However, at that moment, all the students in the audience began to look in her direction and wait for what Brayden would tell about her. A second later, Brayden introduced Alex to everyone, and at that moment she was ready to hear Brayden say anything about himself. But despite this, Alex was overwhelmed with excitement, and she thought that after this she would have no chance of meeting the guys from her group. However, in reality, Brayden, without any jokes or humiliation, told everyone that Alex regularly trains in the gym. Alex didn't expect Brayden to calmly tell everyone about her, and at that moment Alex felt terribly ashamed for humiliating Brayden in front of the entire audience. However, after a couple of seconds, Brayden told everyone that Alex told him that she had achieved the most difficult goal of her entire life. Namely, she was able to collect a thousand Pokemon. Alex didn't understand why Brayden mentioned Pokemon, 
and she especially didn't understand how Brayden knew exactly how many types of Pokemon there were. It turned out that before telling everyone about Alex, Brayden specifically found information on the internet about the exact number of types of Pokemon to make his story sound more believable. Filled with a sense of pride in himself, Brayden sat down in his seat and told Alex that now she would not dare to humiliate him in front of everyone. However, instead of laughing at Alex, many students were impressed by Brayden's story, and then they invited Alex to have a little Pokemon battle match together. At that moment, Brayden was perplexed that after his story, all the students not only did not laugh at Alex, but also began to invite her to be friends with them. After a couple of seconds, the teacher ordered all the students to return to their seats and begin the lecture. At the same time, Alex was somewhat angry at Brayden for telling everyone about her, despite the fact that her popularity in the group had increased somewhat. However, Brayden told Alex that she should be grateful to him for such a spectacular performance, while she made Brayden a laughing stock. Meanwhile, Danielle watched Alex and Brayden fight and she figured they were both super close friends. After class, Alex went to the library, where she grabbed a few textbooks that she needed to further prepare for the lectures. Despite her high level of physical fitness, Alex found it very difficult to carry her books, as there were a lot of them, and they were very large and heavy. At that moment, Alex's phone rang, and when she took the phone, her friend named Chris spoke to her. Chris wanted to ask Alex how she was settling into college and tell Alex about her recent request. Chris told Alex that he had analyzed all the possible risks and decided that they could not take Alex on as another member of the team just yet. This news upset Alex a little, and she said that she understood everything. But at the same time, Chris also had good news for Alex. Chris told Alex that she was one of the most promising members and he would like Alex to prove herself on their team this weekend. Alex was very happy about the news and said that she would give it her all this weekend. Before ending the conversation, Chris told Alex that she shouldn't worry about the incident that happened to them last time. Alex soon returned home, and she was very happy that she finally had the opportunity to prove herself to the team. Alex believed that a professional gamer like her would be able to show all her competitors what she was really capable of. At this moment, Alex was so excited by this news that she could not start studying now. Then Alex decided to go to the gym a little earlier, hoping that she would be able to avoid another meeting with Brayden. On the way to the gym, Alex still continued to enjoy the news from Chris as much as if she had won the lottery. When Alex arrived at the gym, she heard the sound of metal equipment clinking from there, which surprised Alex very much. Alex hoped Brayden wasn't at the gym and she tried to convince herself that someone else had started going to the gym. However, when Alex entered the gym, she saw a cleaner there, putting the exercise equipment in place and putting the gym in order. This was a big relief for Alex, and the janitor wanted to greet her. However, before the janitor had time to say a word, Brayden immediately jumped up in front of Alex in sportswear, which in turn greatly upset Alex. Brayden then told Alex that he had actually been waiting for her to come to the gym. Alex was getting angrier, and angrier at Brayden with each passing second, and she asked him what he wanted from her. Brayden then told Alex that he wanted to ask her something very important. An angry Brayden asked Alex why she came to the gym at the same time that he came, and then Brayden figured that Alex goes to the gym two times a day. Alex sarcastically told Brayden that she actually came to the gym two times a day, despite her complete lack of strength and muscle pain and Brayden actually believed Alex's words. Afterwards, Brayden told Alex that he didn't want to lift at the same time as her, and Alex said that the next time Brayden bench-pressed, there would be no one to save him. Then Brayden said that from that day on he would be at the gym by 8 p.m., and then Alex said that in that case she would be at the gym by 6 p.m. Meanwhile, the janitor was watching Alex and Brayden, and he was trying to figure out if Alex and Brayden always fight with each other like that. Alex and Brayden continued to argue with each other for a few more minutes, after which they began training. Before the training began, Brayden thought that this training would be an opportunity for him to find out about Alex's weak points, wanting to get revenge on her for the incident in the classroom. Brayden also wanted to start training in secret from Alex as carefully as possible in order to become stronger than her over time. In addition, Brayden believed that if he managed to pump up big and strong muscles, then his popularity on the internet would greatly increase. Brayden decided to start training his legs because he learned on the internet that a real athlete should never forget about pumping up his legs. A couple of minutes later, Brayden found a video on the internet in which a beefy man talks about what exercises you need to pump up your leg muscles, and Brayden decided to start with squats. After that, 
Brayden began hanging weights on the barbell, but at one point he began to think that he might not be able to lift such a large weight. Then Brayden noticed how Alex was preparing to do the same exercise, which didn't sit well with Brayden. However, Brayden decided that if he did squats with Alex, she would think he was just scared. While Brayden was thinking about squats, Alex approached him and wanted to ask Brayden if he would use extra weight, to which he said that he would not put more weights on his barbell. Then Alex hung several plates on her barbell at once, the total weight of which must have exceeded 400 pounds, which simply amazed Brayden. As Alex prepared to squat the barbell, Brayden thought she was trying to show off her muscles again. However, when Brayden took a closer look at Alex, he noticed that her face was as serious and focused as possible, and he decided that for Alex it was a regular warm-up weight. After a couple of seconds, Alex also looked at Brayden's barbell and grinned at him again, which made Brayden very angry. Soon, Alex and Brayden started doing squats, and Alex tried to squat as low as possible, while Brayden was slacking a lot and doing the squats incorrectly. Brayden soon lost all his strength, and after just seven reps, he dropped the barbell and stopped squatting. Alex first looked at how Brayden could barely stand, then she continued to squat, and in the end she completed twelve squats. After the squats, Alex walked over to Brayden to see the difference between her legs and Brayden's legs. Brayden also began to take a closer look at Alex's legs, and he decided that she was just looking for another reason to show off her muscles. Alex also looked at Brayden's legs more closely and realized that Brayden had never had the opportunity to swing his legs before. These words hit Brayden hard, and then he took out his water bottle and splashed all the water at Alex. Brayden then told Alex that he would have to work on their joint project alone, but Alex did not understand why he thought that she was a bad student. Brayden then said that Alex was constantly playing games, sleeping in lectures and working out in the gym, and he could not believe that despite all this, Alex was a diligent student. When Alex once again grinned at Brayden, he told her that she would regret getting into conflict with an internet star like him. Brayden also said that he wanted to try to become even more popular, but after Alex humiliated him in front of the whole group, it would be extremely difficult. However, Brayden said that he would give revenge on Alex later. Allegedly his stomach started hurting again, after which he was going to go home. However, due to severe pain in Brayden's legs, it was very difficult for him to walk, and Brayden even tripped several times on the way home. When Brayden finally left the gym, Alex thought that she had never met such idiots as Brayden before. Alex also decided that Brayden was one of those people who only cared about popularity and their own appearance. While Alex was doing back-to-back -back squats, she thought about how hard it would be for her to work with Brayden for the entire school year. The next day, Alex went to class, glad that the weekend would soon come and that today she didn't have lectures where she would have to sit with Brayden. Suddenly, Alex receives a message from Danielle on her phone, and she decides to read it. In this message, Danielle wrote to Alex that she appeared in his new video, and she wanted Alex to see it as soon as possible. This made Alex very angry, and then she immediately went to TikTok to see what kind of video Brayden had posted of her. Opening Brayden's TikTok profile, Alex was amazed that such an idiot would actually have 3 million followers. Soon Alex found the same video on Brayden's profile that he posted last night. A few seconds later, Alex saw that she was suddenly in Brayden's video. In the video, Brayden said that today he would like to show his subscribers something very cool. This video collected more than 500 comments in which people believed that Alex was Brayden's girlfriend. Alex was furious because she couldn't believe that people actually mistook her for Brayden's girlfriend. After that, Alex decided to watch a few more videos on Brayden's channel to better understand why he became so popular. As it turns out, most of Brayden's videos are based on him just showing his face and saying things, making himself look like a handsome and attractive guy. However, Alex did not understand how a person who produces such videos could become so popular on the internet. At one point, Alex became so disgusted with watching Brayden's videos that she believed that at the beginning of each of his videos, Brayden should leave a warning about the abundance of various nonsense in his videos. After that, Alex decided to watch a few more of Brayden's videos to see if he had made any more videos of her. At that moment, Alex decided that if Brayden uploaded at least one more video with her participation, she would strangle him. However, after several minutes of searching, Alex did not find videos on Brayden's profile in which she could have been filmed. It was at that moment that Alex realized why Brayden came to the gym 
and what he had been doing there for the last twenty minutes. Alex still couldn't believe that Brayden had actually filmed her and posted the video, and she watched the video over and over again. Alex also noticed that Brayden said almost nothing about her, and she thought it was some kind of strange prank. In addition, Alex saw that Brayden in his video was grimacing more in front of the camera and trying to show off his thin muscles which only made Alex angrier. Then Alex decided to read the comments to this video to find out if anyone paid attention to her. In the first comment, someone praised Alex and said that she looked really cool, which surprised Alex a little at first. In most of the comments, people admired Alex and asked her to show her the exercises that allowed her to build such muscles. Reading the comments, Alex became more and more embarrassed because she did not expect that anyone would praise her. Soon, Alex heard Brayden's voice shouting to her that a person like Alex would watch his video. However, Alex told Brayden that it was completely accidental, and that she would not deliberately watch such strange videos. However, Brayden didn't pay attention to what Alex was telling him, and he simply asked Alex to follow his profile and leave a comment so that his videos would become even more popular. In response to this, Alex told Brayden that he posted a video in which she happened to be in, but Brayden did not understand what Alex was talking about. At the same moment, Brayden took out his phone and began looking for the same video that he took yesterday at the gym. Having found this video, Brayden told Alex that she ruined his entire video for him, to which Alex told Brayden that it was his own fault, since he was filming almost the entire gym. Brayden was at a loss and then he decided to try to remove the video from his profile. This decision of Brayden greatly surprised Alex, since she did not at all expect that Brayden would show his prudence in such a situation. Upon opening the video, Brayden was disappointed that people were making comments about Alex when he had no intention of filming her. At that same moment, Alex realized the real reason Brayden wanted to delete this video as soon as possible. A second later, Danielle appeared in front of Alex, greatly frightening Alex with her sudden appearance. Danielle couldn't believe that her friend actually appeared in Brayden's video, thereby becoming a celebrity. A couple of seconds later, Danielle saw Brayden himself, and she didn't know what to do. Brayden realized that his fan was now standing in front of him, and then he greeted Danielle. With each passing second, Danielle became more and more speechless, making it difficult for her to even tell Brayden her name. Excited, Danielle immediately began asking Alex and Brayden a bunch of questions about their connection to each other. Danielle then gave Alex the thumbs up, showing her that she would take control of the situation, which greatly worried Alex herself. Brayden noticed this and decided that Alex and Danielle were good friends. Brayden then began to lightly tap Alex on the head, and he told Danielle that they actually talked about things often and that they had already become good friends. After that, Brayden stopped hitting Alex in the head, and she realized that Brayden was up to something. Alex felt that Brayden was trying to make Danielle think he was a good guy and that Alex had a bad temper, when in fact it was the exact opposite. Then Alex decided that she should get out of here as quickly as possible, and she told Brayden and Danielle that another lecture was starting soon, and that she did not want to be late for it. Before Alex left, she told Danielle that Brayden was a very sneaky person and that she should have been more careful with him. After that, Alex went to the lecture, leaving Brayden and Danielle alone. Danielle was also getting ready to go to the lecture, but Brayden wanted to ask Danielle a few more questions. A second later, Danielle returned back to Brayden, who wanted to know something from her about Alex. At this point, Danielle believed that Brayden was indeed in love with Alex, and she decided to help them get together. Danielle then told Brayden that Alex can be grumpy sometimes, but despite this, she is still very sweet, funny, smart, and fearless. However, Brayden told Danielle that he wanted to ask her about what Alex is usually into and what she doesn't like. Then Danielle told Brayden that Alex really didn't like studying, and she asked him to help her with it. Danielle also said that Alex plays computer games very well and a lot. Danielle also told Brayden that Alex might soon get into a professional league, which got Brayden interested. In addition, Danielle recently learned that coach Alex wants to make her the first woman to play in a professional league. Danielle also told Brayden that if he also plays games, then he can talk about this topic with Alex. After the lectures, Alex and Danielle went to Alex's house, where she told Danielle everything she had learned about Brayden. Also during the conversation, Alex mentioned that she was going to go to Brayden's house, which surprised Danielle and she wanted to know all the details about it. Alex then told Danielle again that she was going to Brayden's house that evening. At this point, Danielle believed that Alex finally had a boyfriend, 
to which Alex said that she was going to him only to start working on a joint project. However, Danielle still believed that Alex would finally have the opportunity to make love with Brayden, which greatly confused and surprised Alex. Danielle also told Alex that if she had any questions about this, she could feel free to contact her so that everything would work out for Alex and Brayden. Danielle explained this desire to help by saying that if Brayden didn't like Alex, he would hardly have invited her to his home. But Alex said that she herself offered to meet at his house. This news surprised Danielle so much that she accidentally splashed her hot coffee from her mouth right into Alex's face. While Alex sat with her face burned from coffee, Danielle considered this act of Alex to be very brave. However, in fact, Brayden himself suggested that Alex start working on a joint project. But at that time Alex was very exhausted and she suggested starting work on the project on the weekend. Alex also told Danielle that she couldn't invite anyone to her house because of the big mess. Then Danielle noticed how there was a lot of garbage all over Alex's apartment in the form of fast food packaging, energy drink cans, and other garbage. Alex told Danielle that no one would ever be able to get into her apartment under any circumstances, as if it were a fortress, and Danielle thought that Alex was just proud of that. Afterwards, Alex explained that the mess in her apartment was the reason she was going to Brayden's house, but Danielle believed that the reason for this was her laziness. Then Danielle wanted to tell Alex that guys like charming and sexy girls, but Alex interrupted her almost immediately. Danielle also told Alex that her advantage was the fact that she goes to the gym, but Alex felt that Danielle was hinting that working out compensated for her character. However, almost immediately, Danielle told Alex that she was just joking and said that if you got to know her better, then you could be friends with her, after which she began to lightly hit Alex on the head. Danielle also advised Alex to start working on the joint project as soon as possible, since Danielle and her partner had already completed the first part of the work in less than an hour. Then Alex began to hope that at least in his studies Brayden would be able to show his best side since she could not afford to have bad grades. Danielle thought that Alex didn't want to lose his scholarship and Alex explained that the special program was designed for promising gamers, and she would cover almost all the expenses. However, this support program only applies to those students who have a high degree of academic achievement and high playing skills, and Alex could not afford to be left without sponsorship. Danielle couldn't believe that the gaming industry had become such a serious and promising business, and Alex explained to her that many professional gamers earn six-figure salaries. Danielle couldn't believe Alex's words and said that she also wants to make money like this, to which Alex told her that first she needs to learn how to play games at a professional level. Then Danielle told Alex that she would succeed if she was even more confident in herself and her capabilities. After the conversation, Danielle went home while Alex got ready to do a little warm-up. Alex believed that she still had time before meeting Brayden, and that she would have time to go for a short run to warm up. However, at the same moment Brayden appeared, who could not believe that even during the weekend Alex was also training, which Alex herself did not like very much. Then Alex told Brayden that cardio allows a person to keep his muscles toned and prevents him from gaining excess weight. Then Brayden asked Alex to help him with something urgent, combining his training with something useful. When Alex wanted to understand what exactly was the catch, Brayden, with his manic smile, said that there was absolutely no trick. First, Brayden reminded Alex that old Jackie lived not far from them, and she asked Brayden to help her a little. After that, Brayden pointed Alex to several large boxes and told her that they needed to move all this cargo to old Jackie's apartment. Alex sensed some kind of catch in this matter, since she could not believe that Brayden was capable of voluntarily helping some old woman, and she decided that old Jackie had paid him for his help. Alex also believed that Alex was doing this for her next video, and she started looking around for hidden cameras, thinking that this might be some kind of prank. Then Alex decided that if Brayden was really doing all this for another video, then she could find the right moment and embarrass him in his video, thereby getting revenge on him for the video in the gym. In the end, Alex agreed to help Brayden, based on the fact that climbing stairs is also a very useful exercise. Then Alex took the two largest and heaviest boxes at once and asked Brayden if such light boxes were really too heavy for him, to which Brayden said that this was nothing for him. However, when Alex and Brayden were lifting boxes up the stairs, Alex asked Brayden why all the weight of these boxes rested on her if he was able to lift and carry them himself. After this, 
Brayden tried to prove that it was not hard for him at all by starting to squat with a box in his hands, to which Alex told him not to waste his strength. Soon, Alex and Brayden carried all the boxes to the apartment of old Jackie, who told Brayden that she was very embarrassed for burdening him with such work. However, Brayden told old Jackie that it was easy for him to help, and that if she needed any more help, he would help her right away. Alex looked at Brayden and was somewhat surprised that old Jackie actually needed help, and she thought that it was unlikely that old Jackie would agree to participate in his venture. However, at one point, Alex decided that Brayden could easily just film old Jackie for his video without her permission. Old Jackie also told Brayden that she was also very grateful to his girlfriend, to which Brayden told her that Alex was not his girlfriend at all and that they were not even friends. Old Jackie told Brayden that he shouldn't date such a pretty and sweet girl like Alex. However, Brayden told Old Jackie that he could date Alex if she weren't such a bore, which offended Alex a little. After that, Old Jackie thanked Alex and Brayden again for their help, after which they headed home. Soon Alex decided to ask Brayden why he had arranged all this, but Brayden did not fully understand what exactly Alex was talking about. Then Alex told Brayden that he had arranged all this for his next video, after which she asked him where exactly he hid his cameras. Alex also told Brayden that she would never in her life believe that such a narcissistic idiot like Brayden was capable of good deeds. However, instead of making a joke, Brayden told Alex that he himself understood why she thought that way about him after which Brayden sped up a little and went to his home. Alex had not at all expected such a reaction from Brayden, and she decided that somehow she might have accidentally offended him. The next day, Alex was walking down the street in a great mood because she didn't have to go to college today. Alex believed that it could have been a great weekend, if not for one moment that spoiled her entire day. It was on this day that Alex agreed with Brayden to meet at his house and start working on a joint project. And if not for this meeting she could have gone for a run. Having reached Brayden's door, Alex thought about what dirty trick Brayden had planned this time. However, before entering, Alex remembered the phrase that Brayden said to her at the end of their last meeting, and Alex still did not understand what exactly he meant then. However, Alex decided not to think about it too much, and she was about to enter Brayden's apartment, hoping that he had at least cut his hair before she arrived. However, when Brayden opened the door to his apartment, Alex saw Brayden's same hair in front of her. Instead of greeting Alex, Brayden reproached her for being late, after which he called her lazy. Alex had already begun to regret that she had come to him at all, and she already wanted to return to her home as soon as possible. However, Brayden did not reproach Alex for too long, and then he allowed her to enter his apartment in order to begin work on their joint project as soon as possible. Entering Brayden's apartment Alex was greatly amazed at how clean and beautiful everything was. Alex also decided for a moment that Brayden was indeed the kind of person who, thanks to his popularity on the internet, had enough money to support himself. Also, after a few seconds, Alex noticed that Brayden's apartment smelled of something very tasty. While Alex continued to sniff, Brayden was delighted that Alex was finally in his apartment and that he could now begin executing his evil plan. Brayden was also very happy that Danielle was able to tell him a lot of useful information about Alex, and thanks to her, he was able to prepare something special for Alex. Alex soon turned her attention to Brayden's table, which had pizza, fries, soda, chips, and tacos. Brayden was confident that no gamer could resist such treats. Brayden planned to give Alex high-calorie foods on a regular basis, which would cause her to gain weight, while he continued to train and get Alex stronger. However, Alex realized that there was some kind of trick involved, and she told Brayden that it was a very stupid thing to do. Alex told Brayden that she understood that he wanted to force her to eat junk food and ruin her diet, but Brayden continued to pretend that he had no intention of doing any such thing. While Brayden was eating his pizza, Alex pulled her t-shirt off a little to show Brayden her muscles, and she told him that if he ate like that, he would never be able to build muscles like that. However, Brayden told Alex that he was trying to gain mass so that his muscles would grow more efficiently, to which Alex told him that it worked a little differently. Then Alex told Brayden that despite his best efforts, she would never give in to the temptation to eat all that junk food. Then Brayden asked Alex why she was looking at pizza so greedily and willingly. However, hungry Alex was no longer listening to Brayden and she was only thinking about how to quickly eat this delicious and warm pizza. Brayden couldn't believe that his plan was actually starting to work, 
because he thought that Alec was the kind of gamer who only takes pictures with a gamepad in her hands. At the same moment, Brayden began to think about how smart he was for thinking of tempting Alex with junk food. Then Brayden thought that everything Danielle said about Alex was true, and he decided to ask Alex if she really was a real gamer. Excited, Alex immediately told Brayden that she really loved playing games, and that she had wanted to join the Solid Sports team since she was 15. Alex thought she could finally find something to talk about with Brayden, so she asked him if he played any games. Suddenly Alex began to act more calmly and she decided that such things were unlikely to interest Brayden. Brayden then said that he doesn't play games where a really strong player can't win the match just because his team keeps making stupid mistakes and is always losing. Alex was amazed that Brayden knew some words from the gamer vocabulary, despite the fact that he does not play games. Alex was then trying to figure out how Brayden knew she was an avid gamer, and she figured that Danielle had told him about some of her hobbies. At that very moment, Alex realized how Brayden knew what kind of junk food she liked. Soon Alex found it difficult to restrain herself, and her hand immediately reached for the taco, but she still tried to restrain herself. With each passing second, Alex found it very difficult to restrain herself, and she was afraid that if she suddenly broke down, Brayden would perceive her as some kind of animal. Then Brayden took a piece of pizza in his hand and began to tease Alex, which caused Alex's hunger and appetite to turn into anger and hatred towards Alex. While Brayden happily ate his pizza, Alex took out some sheets of paper to quickly start completing the joint task and go home. However, after a couple of seconds, Brayden noticed that they forgot to add olives to the pizza, which upset him somewhat, while Alex still wanted to start the task as quickly as possible. Then Brayden opened his refrigerator, which contained a whole jar of olives, which he had been saving for such an occasion. While Brayden was trying to open a jar of olives, he didn't forget to tease Alex a little with his pizza. However, Brayden soon stopped teasing Alex because he couldn't open a jar of olives. Alex saw that Brayden still couldn't open his jar of olives, and then Alex chuckled at Brayden again. Alex then flexed her muscles slightly to show off to Brayden, after which she offered to help him with his jar of olives. Then Brayden began to worry about the fact that he constantly finds himself in such ridiculous situations right in front of Alex. Brayden began to think about what he needed to do so as not to embarrass himself in front of Alex again. Then Brayden told Alex that he was already full and didn't want to eat pizza with olives, and Alex decided that Brayden was just afraid that she might open that jar. At this point, Brayden figured that if Alex actually opened the jar, he would embarrass himself in front of her again, and if he didn't give her the jar, she would think he was just scared. Brayden then tried to convince himself that the jar would be tight enough for Alex to open it. In the end, Brayden did give Alex a jar of olives, after which Alex was about to open it. Before this, Alex took off her t-shirt, which at first greatly confused Brayden, who did not understand why she was doing this at all. Alex then told Brayden that she was just trying to show Brayden her physical superiority. Alex then tensed her arm as hard as she could to show Brayden her bicep. After a couple of seconds, Alex realized that right now she had taken off her shirt and was starting to show off her muscles to Brayden, and she decided to pretend that this was what she had planned to do. Alex then grabbed the jar of olives from Brayden's hands and began trying to open it. However, this jar was too tight even for Alex, and then she tried to apply more force. Even Brayden did not expect such a result, and with every second it became more and more interesting for him to watch Alex trying to open a small jar. The jar of olives was twisted so tightly that Alex began to twist her face in attempts to open it. However, Alex believed that she could not make herself look like some kind of idiot in front of Brayden, and she wanted to open this jar at all costs. At this moment, Brayden believed that Alex would definitely not be able to open this jar, giving him another reason to mock her. However, Alex still managed to open the jar of olives, after which she handed it to a somewhat disappointed and upset Brayden. At this point, there was an awkward silence between Alex and Brayden, during which they simply looked at each other for a few seconds. Alex then showed Brayden her bicep again, to which an enraged Brayden said that if his hands weren't stained with pizza grease, he would have been able to open that can too. After that, Alex and Brayden headed to the table, and Alex told him that if he ever needed to open a jar, he could always contact her. After that, Brayden sat down at the table and told Alex that if she spent less time at the gym and more time studying, then she wouldn't ruin their joint assignment with her mistakes. Then Alex picked up her part of the work and saw that there were a lot of mistakes in it. At this moment, 
Alex became extremely upset since she had spent a lot of her time and energy on this work. At this point, Alex decided that she was completely stupid, to which Brayden told her that she had biceps instead of brains. Then Alex began to worry that if she couldn't correct her mistakes, she might lose her scholarship. Then Alex had no other choice, and she had to ask Brayden to help with her work and correct her mistakes. However, Brayden said that he had already corrected half of all the errors, explaining that he did not want to accidentally ruin his grade. At this moment, it was very difficult for Alex to realize the fact that some narcissistic idiot was smarter than her. After that, Brayden sat down at the table and told Alex that he could correct the other mistakes as well. When Brayden sat down at the table, he smiled ominously at Alex, which irritated her very much. Brayden also told Alex that he could also check her work and correct her mistakes, and Alex immediately suspected some kind of trick. However, Brayden told Alex that he would help her if she did something for him using her body. At that moment, Alex believed that Brayden wanted to make love to her, which made her embarrassed and covered her body with her hands. But she understood that she had no choice, and she had to agree. A minute later, loud sounds reminiscent of human groans and the grinding of the floor began to be heard from Brayden's apartment. The fact is that Brayden had long wanted to change the decor in his apartment a little, but he was too weak to move the furniture on his own and he asked Alex to help him with this. A couple of minutes later, Alex moved one of Brayden's closets and asked him why she was moving his furniture, to which Brayden said that all the furniture in his house was not according to Feng Shui, and that she could help him with this. Brayden also said that while Alex is engaged in physical labor, he is engaged in intellectual activity, and thanks to this, everyone receives their own benefits. After that, Brayden told Alex that if she didn't want to agree to his terms, she didn't have to help him, to which Alex said that she could handle it. While Alex spent an hour moving various pieces of furniture into the right places in Brayden's apartment, Brayden helped her with her work. Soon, Alex moved all of Brayden's furniture into the right places, while Brayden helped her figure out her mistakes. Alex took the sheets with her assignment and could not believe that Brayden had actually done everything right for which she was grateful to him. Brayden also told Alex that there was going to be a test on this topic in college soon, and if she didn't study, she risked getting a bad grade. Soon Alex got ready to go home, and Brayden told her that she really should at least study a little so that she doesn't get expelled from college. In response to this, Alex simply looked at Brayden angrily and went home. On the way to his apartment, Alex told Brayden that she didn't ask his opinion and that she would figure it out on her own. After that, Brayden stood in the hallway for a couple of minutes in confusion, trying to understand why Alex suddenly looked at him like that. Soon the day Alex has been waiting for has arrived, namely the day when she will have the opportunity to participate in a professional league. Alex was determined to win, and she hoped that after three years of training, she could be among the best gamers. However, Alex was very worried and worried about how her game today would go, since she believed that now her future literally depends on how well she plays. At the moment, Alex couldn't think about anything other than whether she would be accepted into the professional league, and Alex tried to collect her thoughts. Suddenly Alex had a panic attack, and she tried in every possible way to drive away all the negative thoughts and focus on her game today. After a couple of seconds, Alex was distracted by some kind of ringing, reminiscent of the sound of a doorbell. No one had ever come to Alex's house before, and so Alex didn't even know what exactly her doorbell sounded like. At one point, Alex thought that Brayden was ringing at her door, and she believed that if she was at her house, he would definitely interfere with her in her game today. However, when Alex opened the door to her apartment, she saw Danielle there, who wanted to give her a little surprise. Danielle told Alex that she wanted to wish her luck in her game today, after which he handed her a bag of various foods. At the same moment, Alex hugged Danielle as tightly as possible and told her that she was her best friend. Danielle also said that she knew that Alex would most likely be worried about this game, and she wanted to at least support her a little. After this, Danielle immediately grabbed Alex by the shoulders and began to shake her, telling her that she should be confident in herself and strive for her goal at any cost. Later, Danielle asked Alex how this qualifying round was going, which only made Alex happier since Danielle supported her even in something she herself didn't understand at all. At first, Alex reminded her friend that she had been playing League of Legends for a long time, 
but Danielle only remembered this game for the fact that in this game everyone constantly shouts at each other. Once every eight months, this game holds qualifying rounds between the 30 best teams in the world, and Alex tries to get into one of these teams. Ten candidates were also recruited, five of which will remain in the finals, and then the manager of one of these teams named Chris will decide whether he will take Alex to his team. This time, Danielle hardly understood anything and then she again grabbed her by the shoulders and told her that she should be confident in her abilities. After that, Danielle put her hand in her pocket and told Alex that in addition to the food, she also brought Alex another little surprise. After a couple of seconds, Danielle pulled out a small can of Adderall from her pocket, which is usually used to sharpen a person's attention and increase reactions. Danielle told Alex that these pills are a special stimulant that can definitely help Alex get into the professional league. However, Alex was categorically against the use of any type of stimulants, both steroids in the gym and the use of Adderall in her career as a future esports athlete. At the same moment, Alex hit Danielle on the hand in which she was holding the pills and told her that she would under no circumstances use them. Danielle completely agreed with Alex's decision, in which she fully supported her, after which she offered her a sandwich. However, when Danielle pulled out the delicious sandwich, Alex also noticed that it had a ton of Adderall in it, and she said that she wouldn't eat it. Realizing that Danielle would not be able to drug Alex with stimulants, she told her friend that her eyesight was very good and that she just wanted to support her in today's game. Before going on with her business, Danielle wanted to tell Alex something very important. Danielle told Alex that she has very toned arms and that she needs to show them off as often as possible. Alex didn't think much of it, and Danielle told her that she should constantly show them off and show them off as much as possible. Then Alex said that she actually began to pump them more often in the gym, while Danielle began to feel her biceps without any hesitation. At that moment, Danielle remembered that just recently Alex came to see Brayden, and she asked Alex how her date with Brayden went yesterday. However, Alex didn't want to talk about Brayden, and she simply threw Danielle out of her apartment to which Danielle said that she would still find out all the details of their meeting. Soon, Alex received a message from Chris on his phone, in which Chris wrote that the qualifying round was about to begin. At that moment, Alex sat down at the computer, put on her headphones and began to wait for the qualifying round to begin. Chris soon connected with Alex in the game, and within seconds the qualifying round began. Meanwhile, Danielle was walking down the street about her business, and on the way she accidentally met Brayden. Brayden recognized Alex's friend, and he decided that if she was walking around this area, then she also lived near him and Alex. However, Danielle said that she was just minding her own business, and that she decided to visit Alex for a while and wish her luck in her qualifying round. Danielle figured Brayden would probably tell her everything about their date last night, and she wanted to know if Alex was acting strange. Brayden told Danielle that even though he had to do most of the work, their meeting yesterday went well, and Danielle felt that Alex and Brayden had finally hit it off. Brayden also told Danielle that when Alex went home, he thought he really pissed her off, 